Woods are always full of wonderful new surprises. Perhaps even monsters. He's scaring Mary. The staff created a monster myth to keep Kenzie and Pan Banisha out of places they shouldn't go. Look, there he is! As if they were children on Halloween. It's all lots of fun and scary. Pan Banisha, he might see us. What's he doing in there? I told you he came up this morning and he's still here. Masks have always given their wearers an implicit power. They featured in almost every primal religion. Bonobos, as well as humans, feel the thrill of that power. Hermanisha is getting you. She's getting you with a monster mask. Humans and bonobos alike experience the thrill of chasing and of being okay. chased. power of suggestion. Pan Banisha and Kanzi display a rare ability to understand events that they see by linking them to words. What happens when they have to rely on words alone? Janine, who used to work at the research center, makes a phone call. Let's get our cube. Does this voice belong to a person? Kenzie hasn't the slightest idea what to make of a voice he can't see. Kenzie has listened to a telephone before, but this time, they hope he'll reply by using his keyboard. Kenzie, Kenzie, somebody wants to talk to you on the phone. Somebody has something to say to you. You better listen. Sit down here and listen to what they say. Sit down right here. How impossible, conversing with someone you can't see. the keyboard in response to the phone, and that's a first. Would you like any food? Tell me what food you'd like. Food hmm. surprise. So food surprise. Food <laughs> well, surprise. Condi, would you like a juice or some uh, M&M's or some sugar cane? M&M's. Then Janine visited. Will Kenzie recognize the puzzling oh, source of the telephone voice? I was on the phone with you. And will he remember her words, conveying a promised Emma? surprise? Hello. Surprise. Yeah, you talked to me about a surprise on the phone. I did bring surprises in my backpack. Oh. This is the food surprise I brought for you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like gummy bears yet. And remember what else we talked about? We talked about M&M's. Should I show you the M&M's? M&M's. Okay. Whole big box full of M&M's. And there's one more. One more thing you talked about. It's very special. Do you remember? Can you remember what you talked about to bring in my back? Oh, yes. that's right. 
Yes, Conti. Yes, that's right. It's a ball. You're absolutely right. Though puzzled by the source of Janine's voice on the telephone, he appeared to remember what she had said. Kenzie had clear recall of a past event and of things that he could not immediately see, tasks demanding high intelligence. By example, Kenzie may be telling us it's three and a half million years since we parted company in Africa. But you humans didn't leave us apes so far behind, after all. <laughs> Video games. To win at these, children have to master complex rules. React with lightning speed to computer electronics. And they have to think ahead. Does Kenzie have those skills? Go get this other one. That's right. Go down and get it. It seems so. Mastering important rules, he started gobbling dots at once. Keep pulling. Now you can get them. That's right. Be careful. Ooh. Red and yellow monsters are lethal, but a player can eat them we'll and score them. when they turn blue. Rose helps Kenzie understand this complicated rule. Okay, now get the monsters. Get them. And take the cherries, too. Now watch out. Stay away from them now. Now you can chase them again. Time to chase them. Kenzie's movements became ever more skilled. Now you have to stay away, get away, run away, run. Oh, now we can chase him again. Go get him. Oh, no! He may have lost that game, but research with Kenzie and his clan shows that bonobos are primates gifted with extraordinary intelligence. Ongoing research, it is hoped, will offer clues to our own evolution. It's very good. Thank you so much. Three and a half million year old Lucy shows that hominids walked erect even then. This posture held the key to human development in more ways than one. Lucy's structure and bonobos Pan Peniscus, to use Kenzie's scientific name, have been carefully compared at the University of California. Dr. Adrian Zillman. It's amazing how similar Pan Peniscus is to Lucy, who's one of the early hominids that lived on Africa in Africa about three and a half million years ago. If we look at their skeletons and compare them, they're very similar in brain size. They're very different. They're very similar in stature. Uh, the length of the lower limbs, and fairly similar in overall body proportions. Zaire in Central Africa. A Japanese research team has been studying wild bonobos here since the mid-1970s. What bonobos make of humans, we can't say. But humans learned a lot about bonobos. For example, in the wild, they often walk upright. They walk like humans, with straight backs and arms swinging at their sides, taking obstacles like logs in stride. Wild bonobos like the ancient hominid Lucy, can walk upright for long distances, even in rough terrain. 
A vertical posture leaves hands free to do more important things. Being able to stand upright lets hands carry food, grasp weapons, and hold tools. It also paves the way to the next generation of intelligence, the tool maker, man. A bonobo walks like this, essentially upright. Chimpanzees bend further forward, making long distance walking difficult. In modern man, the back is perfectly straight. The bonobo leans further forward than the ancient hominid Lucy, but even so, the bonobo resembles the hominid more closely than the chimpanzee does. If we compare their gait, the bonobo is certainly the closest ape to Lucy. Walking upright left apes hands free to develop new skills. Development didn't stop with hands. An erect posture made room in the throat for larger vocal cords. Tongues became freer to wag. Ah. E, U, E, O. By contrast, a chimpanzee's tongue has little space to move, preventing it making a range of sounds. With voice came language, with hands came tools, and the dawn of modern man.